I get the most questions on these sunglasses out of anything I wear at all. Also, they're my most worn. Okay, y'all, welcome back to another YouTube video. My name is Carter. You are on the Currently Carter channel. I talk all things luxury investments and how to make your closet into an investment portfolio. So if that is a bit of you, pretty please subscribe, like this video. It really helps out a brand new channel like mine and I would very much appreciate it. So without further ado, let's get into today's video. So today I am showing you my luxury sunglasses collection. I have nine pairs of design sunglasses that I'm going to show you today. So let's jump right into it. First up, we have this right here. This is a Gucci case. I will show you all of the cases as well because I find that really interesting. As you can see here, it is like an neon sort of green, like a lime neon green, and it says Gucci on the inside. And inside we have my only pair of Gucci sunglasses. And I bought them for one reason only, and that was this right here, the Lion on the side I absolutely loved. I am a big lion and cat fan in general so anything that has a cat or a lion on it I uh, buy it. I'm a sucker. And the other side you can see here has the GG. This is what they look like on. They are really really nice with the cat eye effect. Now these are a little tight on my face and I will show you what I've done on another pair but a really good thing to note that I did not know that you could do is you can very easily customize your sunglasses to the shape of your head. Now, everyone that wears actual glasses will already know this, like traditional eye-seeing glasses will already know this, but anybody that doesn't wear glasses like I do rarely does. And when I found out, it like changed my sunglass wearing light. Anything with this sort of material on the edge, which essentially is just plastic, right? Or maybe it's enamel, I'm not sure. But you can heat up and bend, right? First of all, you could go into a glasses store and they will definitely have this this little machine that does this for you and they'll probably like adjust them for you and they're like obviously way better at it than you being a novice but I swear it is not that hard. But the first time I did I did do exactly that. I went into a glasses store and they did it for me and after I saw how easy it was I was like oh man now I'm obsessed. I do it to all of my glasses. I just haven't done it to these yet. All you do is you take a straightener right just a regular straightener and you hold it hovering in between these two pieces right here. Do not touch it. It will melt it obviously if you're like holding it on there. You do not have to actually touch it. You don't have to get it crazy hot. You do not have to hold it there for five minutes. Absolutely not. A good 15 seconds is good. All you have to do is hover it right close, but don't touch it right here on either side. Hold it there for a second and then lightly bend outwards. Let's say they're tight. You're lightly going to bend outwards just a little bit and then hold it and then try them on again. Boom. If it's not bent enough, then you do it another 10 seconds and bend it a little bit more, right? Maybe five seconds increments instead of like a check every you know, five to 10 seconds, see if it'll bend. And then boom, it is perfect. And you can do the same thing here. You can just kind of hold it hovering like this and you can bend these sort of like in if they're too uh, loose on you, whatever. Best freaking thing I've ever learned in my life. I love it. Let's get into the rest of the sunglasses. That was a really long winded thing. That is my first Gucci pair of sunglasses. Next, let's do these because I get the most questions on these sunglasses out of anything I wear at all. Also, they're my most most worn. I'm obsessed with these and I didn't even buy them because I was obsessed. I kind of bought them on a whim and then I became obsessed, which is like the best way to like buy anything, right? And uh, now I'm so obsessed that I literally want to go get the tortoise shell version because these are the solid blacks. I'll show you. These are Louis Vuitton sunglasses. They come in this cute little trunk that is horribly unpractical and you cannot use them at all for your purse. So what I do is I actually use these boxes later on and I put all my jewelry in them whenever I travel and then and it like magnets close and it's a great little place to like um, hold stuff like that. Anyways, let's get into the glasses. These are the glasses. You can see they say Louis Vuitton on the edge. Now these have been custom bent to my face and they fit perfectly like a glove obsessed with them. These are the ones that I wear all the time. You'll see, love them. They fit my head perfectly again because they've been adjusted to my frame. I absolutely adore these. Now, because I can't use this and it's so annoying, I bought this, which I get questions about all the time as well. This is a sunglass sleeve, as you can see, and it's just the monogram here. They don't make these anymore. It is so annoying that they don't make them, but you can find them vintage. They are kind of rare to find. If you can find them, they're amazing and they have 
a little bit of like sort of felt inside. So it has that smooth transition. I think it's actually suede, not felt. Yeah, it's suede. The ones that they have now that you can ask for are these. Now these typically are pretty small. So the really big sunglasses won't fit in them, which is really annoying. But if you have a smaller pair of sunglasses, they typically will. And you can see the Louis Vuitton. These are in the men's section. That's a good little note to use if you can't find the other one or you don't want to pay extra for it. Let's do these. These are my newest pair of Chanel sunglasses. I unboxed them on my stories and a whole bunch of you guys bought them as well. They are so freaking cute and very affordable compared to what a lot of Chanel sunglasses are. They are magnetized to open up like this. It has the diamonds across and the Chanel in velvet on the inside. They slip in, they come out, and these are the Chanel Aviator sunglasses. As you can see, there is an embedded CC inside the frame on either side and then written Chanel here. They are so cute and comfortable. I love them. These come in a lot of different lens colors. These are the black and I want to say graphite or something, but they're basically black on black. I love them. I also really considered the like brown version, I want to say. They're like gold and brown. I'm not totally sure, but yeah, there's like five or six different shades of the lenses and you can order them online when you typically, if you don't know Chanel, you cannot order anything online besides Chanel Beauty, but sunglasses are technically in the Chanel Beauty section of Chanel. I don't really know why, but they are. So you can order them online and you don't have to go into store, which is really great. You can also typically find them very often in the Chanel Beauty section of the airport. They'll have a sunglass section like that. So even if they don't have a Chanel boutique, they typically will have like a Chanel Beauty somewhere and in that will be sunglasses. Yeah. So next up, we have a vintage pair of sunglasses. Not really vintage. These aren't that older, but these this is the older case. You can see the CC on the edge and the diamond across. These are another pair of my very favorite sunglasses. I love these. They are the pearl tortoiseshell sunglasses. And you can see here it has the CC on the edge right there on both sides. And I also bent these to fit perfectly to my head and face. I love how classy with the pearl they are. Literally one of my favorite sunglasses ever. They, between these and these are the most worn sunglasses I wear for sure. These are like my most worn brown pair, if you will. So yeah, absolutely love those. Next up we have Prada. Now again, another very unfunctional case for your purse, which is really annoying. Typically I will put it actually in this little Louis Vuitton one because again, like I said, a smaller pair will fit in this perfectly. So that makes it really easy. So I can actually have them protected in my purse. But these are a pair of tortoiseshell cat eye. As you can see, they are totally different than my other pairs. And I wanted that. I wanted like a totally different pair that I could wear with like hats or like, you know, long brim hats that are just like brings that extra bit of like sass to an outfit if you have a bit of a cat eye, but they're not like super small either. I just grabbed one of my hats so you can get the vision, the full vibe of what I'm saying. You do a bit of this, you see what I mean? And it's instantly French Riviera, you know, like this totally different vibe. You have big on big, which is still cute, right? Like we wouldn't disown her, you know, like it's still cute, but the cat eye does something else, you know, it's a different vibe and we like her bring me more wine, you know, you know, you get it. Yeah. I don't wear them enough because I'm not like this girl very often. This is a very specific mood that I have to be in. And typically I'm too like loud and bubbly to be her, but every once in a while we're her down the nose. Next, we have another pair of Chanel glasses. Now these are my pool glasses. I got these pre-loved for a great deal. They are pink. So they are so me. I love them. I do also need to sort of bend these a little bit more. I haven't done that yet. I need to bend this because they're just a little tight, but they're so, so cute. As you can see here, it has a CC on the edge. Now I got these for like a crazy deal because this CC was technically clear, but it was like a bit like dingy. Like it didn't look very like nice. So I dyed the sides of these glasses black, as you can see, to sort of save them because I wanted like a pair that I did not have to care about like on the beach. And if I like lost them, it wouldn't be like a loss of a giant investment that typically, you know, designer sunglasses are. So I did that and they they definitely came out okay. You can see like the black on black on the CC. And I feel like you can't like, you know, necessarily tell that they were dyed on the edge. Like I didn't buy them thinking I'm definitely gonna dye these. I bought them because they were a good deal. And then I was like, you know, maybe I can just fix the CC. And then like one thing led to another and I dyed the whole thing. Listen, <laughs> it was one of those projects, but I will take it. Listen, it's fine. <laughs> 
fun day at the pool, you know, you don't care, whatever, glasses, you know what I'm saying? Next, we have another Louis Vuitton pair that of course comes in the trunk and they are these. Now, I technically bought these for my mom. They are so cute with the Louis Vuitton symbol on the edges and they are tortoise shell. They also have a hint of green. A bit of a backstory to these and I'll say, and I'm gonna tell you because it's so useful. Now, there was a similar pair to these that they had, but they just had written Louis Vuitton on the sides and they were polarized lenses. Louis Vuitton rarely does polarized lenses, but they were so crisp and amazing to look through. We love them, but I don't know what we were thinking, but we were in Paris and we ended up, my mom liked a pair of Chanel sunglasses and we sort of bought this other pair that was polarized on a whim randomly. We weren't particularly like, you know, caring too much about them. It was really kind of before we were like really realized just how great the crispness was because of the fact that they were polarized. And so we ended up buying that Chanel pair. And because it was literally the same day, like next door, we ended up exchanging the Louis Vuitton pair for, I think it was these, right? And I bought these instead, which I do love. And I would have probably not bought if it wasn't for that. I don't even remember the reasoning. Whatever it was, it was not good enough because ever since that trip to Paris, we've been like, you know what? Like these are nice, but like they're just not as crisp as those other ones were. We really liked those other lenses. And after some research, we found out they got discontinued. We cannot find them anywhere. The second I see them on the secondhand market, I will buy them in an instance. They were technically from the men's collection too, which makes them even more annoying and hard to find. But yeah, they were basically like the more subtle versions of these, but they have the same lettering on the side. So if anybody sees a smaller tortoise shell green lens version of this, I want it. I want it. Anyways, sad time story for you. Next up, we have another pair of Prada. Now these are again, one that I bought for my mom, but I do also have a tip for these. Anytime Prada you see has this bar right here, this has happened on two pairs of Prada sunglasses for me. Better yet, do not buy any sunglasses that have this bar right here because it freaking always comes out. And what happens is now the hinge can go further and now you have a totally out of whack pair of sunglasses. It is so annoying. The first pair this happened to, I went to Prada and they just replaced the sunglasses for me, but it took literally like six weeks and now it's happened again. Now they just like fit kind of out of whack. Again, these are my mom's. I hate that. That's so annoying. I did get them for her, right? And she loves them, but so I don't know what we're gonna do about that. If she can like find another little bar to replace it or if she just deals with the fact that they're a little out of whack and just doesn't kind of keep them out there like that. I don't know. Now there's another pair of Chanel sunglasses that I bought my mom and I can not find them for the life of me, but they are the trifold sunglasses. But these right here are so freaking cool. They are trifold, meaning that this part, let's use this as an example, has a hinge. So it folds into itself, like this folds in half, just this part folds in half. And then this part right here also has a hinge. So it folds in half, folds in half, and then they all fold in half again. And they become really small. They're amazing. Love, love, love those we got in Paris. I'm not sure if they sell them all the time or not, but they're really cute convenient because they're just so much smaller and they'll fit in your smaller size purses. So absolutely love those. And I will try to find a picture if I cannot find the actual pair. That is all of the sunglasses I have for you today. Thank you so, so much for watching. Pretty please, like I said, like this video. It does very much help out a brand new channel like mine. And subscribe if you're not already. Comment down below the sunglass emoji if you've lasted this far in the video. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.